Well, it's time for our trending topics of the day. We're talking about a bear break in a surprise snake and a national holiday that gives you something to whine about. But first up, a perp that's going viral in Lyons, Colorado. A bear was caught on camera breaking through a gate then trying to break into a dumpster. But what he did next is what makes it special. Since he couldn't seem to break into the bear-proof can, he decided, hey, I'm going to take it with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, best part of this, you guys, they call him Cheeseburger as he's always looking for snacks. And the staff there says they see him around the store pretty regularly. That <laughs> is oh the best. Oh, my God. I'm assuming they sped up that video there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hope so. Fast. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is awesome. I love that. I was just astonished too that he, he just opened the gate. He was like, no, I'm not going to climb over the gate. I'm going to open the gate. Yeah, he busted this through how, a lock on that gate this too. This is how it has to happen. You know? Yeah, he knows He's what's up on that property. He logically thought about it. For here and to go, I guess, in this case. He's wonder, like, oh, yeah, he did. You could see that break too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. The eyes of the demon. Cheeseburger. He's hungry, man. I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> ever got him to them. I don't know. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know if he got in. If he had a few friends later on, he's like, yeah, hey, guys, they this all, is what I they got. They all had so, a snack. Well, how are we going to open this now? Like, okay, all right. Did you break the lock open to get in? He's like, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and try that out then. Yeah. Team effort. Yeah. I like that one. That was funny. All right, we're going to stay in Colorado for this next one. Imagine looking at your doorbell app to see this. To wait for it. Oh, there he is. A homeowner took a peek only to see a large snake on the doorbell. The snake slithers around the doorbell and across the camera um, for a little bit there, and uh, we don't really know what ended up happening to the snake. I don't. I'm hoping but it's uh, uh, pretty creepy. I wouldn't use my front door, that's for sure. Well, I don't even have, I think that app is kind of cool in the first place or the, that you have that technology, but to see this, I kind of wouldn't want it anymore. Oh, oh. It definitely yeah. makes you worry about going home. Yeah, you don't know what might be there. That's a pretty big snake. Yeah. It's a size thing. I mean, of course it's right in front oh of the Oh, my God. Ew, it's so gross. It's so shiny. Oh, boy. I mean, that's actually a few videos about animals <gasps> recently. They've asked, well, had another one out in Yellowstone. There were this oh, really? Girl. Yeah, she got... <gasps> yes. Oh, bison the bison girl? The bison. That was unfortunate, yes. Um, but... Animals, nature, scary. Good thing she's okay. She yeah. is okay. She Glad is that she's though. okay. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. All right, so wine and cheese go together like peanut butter. Oh, and jelly. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so today is the day to celebrate that. It's National Wine and Cheese Day, so now you have an excuse to indulge in the tasty pairing. As if you needed one, exactly just which cheeses that. go with which wine is localized tradition, depending on where you are. It's also a moving target. They're always experimenting and also recommending new pairings to sophisticated palates. So go ahead and try some out if you can. <laughs> uh, similarly, cheesemongers say, or they stay up to date on the latest trends. But the real answer is there's no wrong way to pair wine and cheese. Okay, whatever you like is right. Just do so in moderation. That goes for both wine and cheese. Probably, <laughs> probably, probably more the wine. Uh, my favorite day of the year. <laughs> I do like uh, good cheese. I'll give you that. I don't, I'm not a huge wine person, but still, I appreciate the tradition of pairing it together. I, and I also like the charcuterie boards. Those are really good yeah. to me, too. So yeah. how does it come together so nicely? Well, what's the, I guess, the dynamic between the two? I think it's just the flavor of a cheese with a certain wine. Yeah. Well, and there's, mm -hmm. there's other, I mean, they do beer pairings at yeah. some restaurants. Yeah, and exactly. Like a... Yeah tangy or a sweet with a, I guess, kind of a salty or a smooth? Well, cheese. yeah, there's like dessert wines right. that you are supposed to have okay. with sure. dessert. And yeah. so like the sweeter wines would go with some of that. Yeah. Uh, Whatever you like, Adam. There's no wrong way to do it. As you just said. Yeah. All right, guys. We want to know what you guys have to say about this one today. What is your favorite snack to pair with wine? Go to our Facebook page. I have a couple options up there for you now, but comment with your favorite, and we'll check that at the end of the hour. But still to come on the morning show, we're meeting an exotic cat in our pet on the set. Yes, Lil Silver came all the way from Turks and Caicos. Find out how you can adopt her and why Yoga for Cats says they bring animals over to the U.S. in the first place. That's coming up in Pet on the Set. Plus, we're saying see you later to Adam Wisniewski at Breakfast, Life, and Dinner. He's moving on to his next adventure. We're going to tell you where. Coming up next in three-minute break.